Hi everyone, welcome to the Kiyonga Foundation Golf Academy. Just wanted to go through a little tip to help you in terms of how you're striking the golf ball. If you're somebody that hits the ball very, very heavily or takes big, steep divots, or you're somebody that tends to not take divots at all and hit the ball quite thin, this tip can really help you to be more consistent in your strike and then obviously more consistent with your output and score better and have a bit more fun when you're out on the golf course. So what I tend to see is people, as they address the golf ball, don't align or tilt their body effectively as they address the golf ball. What we all need to understand is that our upper torso, so from my belt upwards, this part of my body always needs to be slightly tilted or orientated away from my target, okay? So what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is a couple of really simple ways to control this really well. So I want you to focus on your sternum and also your belt buckle. What I'm gonna do here is a little exercise. I'm gonna have my feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna hold the grip of the club against my sternum and I'm gonna hold the shaft of the club against my belt buckle. And what you'll notice here is as I'm standing in this upright position that the shaft of the club is now pointing straight down in the middle of my feet or in the middle of my stance. What I want you to do is keeping the pressure on these two points is I want you to attempt to point the shaft of the club more towards your lead or your front foot. So as I do this, you'll see how my body tilts away from my target. My target is in this direction here. I'll come back to the start, this neutral position, and tilt again. Now as I do this, what you'll notice is that my lead hip pushes marginally towards the target, and my rear shoulder, my right shoulder in this perspective, actually drops down a fraction. So I can point that shaft towards the inside of that lead foot. This is the tilt that we're looking for in a golf shot, okay? So I'm in this position now, if I hold these two positions, my sternum, my belt buckle, you can see that shaft is now pointing towards the inside of that lead foot. This goes for every club in your bag, all the way from your high lofted irons all the way through to your driver, okay? If we can get into that tilted position, what's going to happen is you're going to transfer your weight a lot more naturally. You're going to hit into the golf ball in the correct fashion. And if you've got the golf ball position in your stance appropriately, you're going to hit the ball really nicely. Now, obviously holding the club on our chest and things is a great way to practice when we're on the driving range or when we're at home. When we're on the golf course, that's gonna become a little bit tricky. So a really great shortcut for doing this is as you address the golf ball, if you think about pushing your belt buckle one inch towards the target and your sternum moves one inch away from the target, well now we're in this nice tilted position. Now my weight will transfer naturally behind the golf ball. I can now swing through, strike the ball really consistently. There's no counteracting measures or things having to change throughout the swing. Everything is sequenced together. Our consistency will skyrocket. Our control becomes a lot better and we should score a lot better when we're out the golf course. Let's give this a bit of a go. So I take my stance, make sure I'm aligned appropriately. My belt buckle moves one inch towards the target. My sternum moves one inch away from the target. And now a nice smooth, normal swing allows me to strike the ball really cleanly. My weight has transferred naturally without me having to try and change it. I see a nice straight shot and some great consistency. Hope this all makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to come and see one of the great coaches here in the Kiyonga Foundation Golf Academy. We'd be more than happy to help you with this or with any of the struggles that you're having. All the best, stay safe, take care. We look forward to seeing you soon.